Hey everybody, De really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nameless, the one thing you must recall. We are working on getting Lance. I think this is what, our second day at school now <laughs> with the guys? And Nurse Eugene has been uh, talking about the bones in class, about how sexy they are in certain lights at certain times of the day, because that's much more important to knowing the names of the bones or where they are or anything like that. <laughs> well, let's see what else he has in store for the class. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Ah, Soy was just complaining about the uselessness of this particular lesson. After speaking, she plopped down on the desk in boredom. She's right, Mr. Eugene. Talk about something else. Something else! Yeah, I've heard it every time I went to the infirmary. I know the human body now. <laughs> oh no. He looks mad. Oh no, he's not mad, he's sad. Oh, poor Mr. Eugene. Mr. Eugene's expression fell more and more. Is it because he can't talk about the bones he loves so much? I feel more nervous the sadder he looks. I didn't realize how eager you all are to learn something new. All right. From now on, we will apply the knowledge we already know and actually dissect something. You all know what dissecting is, right? There are some kids that never wake up from the dissection, but that's only about 10%, so no need to worry. What? Kids that never wake up for it, so, like, he wants to dissect a kid? At that moment, the whole class froze. Mr. Mr. Eugene, now that I think about it, there's still so much more to learn about bones. I, I need to learn more theory. M me too. Mr. Eugene, now that I think about it, I only know the upper human body. <laughs> the path to enlightenment is a long and hard one. <laughs> no need to refuse. They say it's better to experience once than listen a hundred times. So let's see, who should we use? Everyone turned pale and turned down the dissection. Hmm, since there's around 30 people in this class, does it mean that at least three are passing over to the other side? <laughs> After figuring out the stats, I had to shake my head at the creepy numbers. I turned around to find Yan Ho next to me, pale as a ghost, looking at me. If, if I'm chosen, don't be so sad. <laughs> the cookie... I hid it on the top. <laughs> I hid it on top of the shelf. Take it. <laughs> Those are his parting words. <laughs> oh, you know you're adorable. He said it as if he was just about to go into war. Anyways, a cookie on the top shelf? I better look for it when I get home. Let's see. It has to be someone with very pretty bones. Hmm... Mr. Eugene's gaze stopped at Lance. Oh ho! Are you the new transfer student? Hmm. If I had known you were this high quality, I would have paid more attention to you. Mr. Eugene looked at Lance and smacked his lips. Oh, that's so creepy. I know, it's a lot because of the hair color and length, but <laughs> they look like they could be related. At hearing high quality, I felt a prick at my conscience. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Both left and right are perfect, and the symmetry is quite nice. Mr. Eugene picked at Lance's face and kept on nodding. It's perfect. You will be a very beautiful sample. My heart is already pounding. Mr. Eugene's voice was rising with excitement. Oh, the more I look, the more I see the beauty. How were you born with such perfect bones? No need to even mention the ribs. And even the sacrum is perfect. I'm not even sure what the sacrum is. Are you even human? You are too perfect to be human. You're like a doll God crafted with his own hands with all his might. You don't even know the half of it. Ah! I was suddenly startled from what Mr. Eugene said. Hey, you over there. Come up front. Feel honored that I'm in great condition today. Days like this don't come often. Today, I'll have one of the top three dissecting experiences of my life. <sighs> I absolutely refuse. Mr. Eugene, I have a request! Soy raised her hand in a flash. What does she mean by a request? No way! Is she trying to save Lance? I thought that maybe in a long time... No, 
For the first time, we'll see Soy act like a true class president. A request? What is it? You just said that Lance's ribs and sacrum are beautiful. Yes, I did. You are talking about bones, right? Of course. But Lance is wearing his uniform. What's that got- Oh no! She's- she's not saving him at all, she just wants him to strip. What's that got to do with anything? Well, that means you can see beneath the uniform and see his bones. In short, you can see through things. So, I have a request. Share your eyes with me, or please pass on the secret. I want to see too! <laughs> she just wants x-ray vision. Ugh. I thought the cut line for our academy was pretty high. It is. Well, I feel like that's been changed nowadays. I actually agree. Hey, you. Why aren't you coming up? Mr. Eugene ignored Soy's words. His eyes were still persistently sparkling towards Lance. Mr. Eugene, wait! When Soy was about to say something again, the seat next to me shook. I... I will. Oh, Yanho! Sacrificing himself for Lance, what a sweetheart. Yanho suddenly stood up. I will... I will do it instead. <laughs> so, don't torture my friend, Lance. Please. <laughs> no! Yanho, don't volunteer! It's dangerous! Yellow chick. <laughs> I can't watch this without crying. Mr. Eugene strode toward Yan Ho and stood in front of him. You have thin bones. Are you still going through puberty? But the figure's there. The balance is good, too. This is quite interesting, too. I almost want you as a sample. I want those bones over there, but yours aren't bad, either. Oh god, this is so creepy! We're being terrorized by the nurse! His eyes looked crazed. No. You have a rare charm. One of you is definitely going to be my specimen today. <laughs> I haven't had such a happy worry in ages. His glasses genuinely sparkled. If both refuse, he would drag one of them away. Lance and Yan Ho would be in danger if I stay still. What do I do? <laughs> oh, this is so cruel. I really should volunteer myself, but in order to get Lance, I have to save Lance. So, so cruel. I decided to save Lance, since it's likely others will save Yan Ho. Yeah, that's kind of true. Also, it bothered me that Lance stayed quiet the whole time. He's not saying anything, but surely he must be in shock. Mr. Eugene, I'm just thinking, before, when I ran errands for you, I noticed that Beatrice seemed to like other models that are bigger than her. Hmm. Last time when Johnny dropped by for a visit, Beatrice strangely seemed brighter than usual. She seemed to fancy him. Johnny, the male skeleton model, treasured by a chemistry teacher, female, 37 years old, a single who argues to be a gold... a gold miss, what is that? From a neighboring academy? What? My Beatrice would never... Well, I may be wrong, but considering Lance's perfect figure, Beatrice might fall for him. That's just what I personally think. Hmm... So, um, s since Lance has a bigger figure than Beatrice, if he's made into a sample, you might end up creating a rival for yourself. Nothing for sure, but it's best to be careful, no? All right, you have a point. That didn't cross my mind. Then I should make a sample out of him. Is he messing with us? <laughs> I mean, clearly he couldn't get away with this. Or is, is he really, truly this insane? Yanho looked at me with his big, teary eyes. Ugh, sorry, Yanho. Then I will protect the chick. As expected, Soy suddenly stood up from her seat. Anne was in tears and willing to never let Yanho go. Mr. Eugene froze from seeing her telling him to cut her own stomach before cutting his. Thankfully, we were able to survive the class without a dissecting experiment. Banjul When the bell rang, about half the class was dozing off. Huh, <sighs> school's finished. It was such a long day. If we go through this kind of class again, my lifespan will be considerably shortened. Why are you so lifeless? 
Soy shook me. Even after all that fuss, Soy doesn't seem tired at all. On the contrary, she looked more energetic than before. What was the cafe called? Oh, right. I almost forgot I was supposed to go to the cafe Tay works at. No wonder Soy was so lively. I didn't tell her that Tay worked there, but she must have been instinctively interested. It's called Banjul. Banjul? Banjul. I rolled my tongue and pronounced it. She'll be so surprised to see Tay there. I was kind of excited to think about surprising them. You didn't oh, what's with that name? Banju, ju, Jewel. So I rolled her short tongue and made weird noises. It's near here. There, I see the sign. Shinbi raised her head. At the end of her gaze was a sign that spelled Banjul in clean black letters. That's not black letters, that's white! Oh, the one sticking out of the wall, I guess, is black. But the one on the wall is white. What? It's written in English. Banjul or Banju j Jewel. Aren't they the same thing? So he looked cute, still trying to pronounce it weird. Yeah, call it however you want. It's quite a cool name. Should we go in? We opened the glass door and headed up to the third floor. Oh my god! I blocked my ears from hearing Soy shriek as soon as we entered. This place looks really cluttered. Surprised, I hesitated to walk in and stood in front of the entrance, but Soy, who was the one screaming, ran straight into the cafe. It's hey! Waka, oh, you came. Tay smiled softly. It wasn't his business smile. It was the smile Tay always gave me at home. But Soy isn't used to that smile, so she'll probably faint when she sees it. I was about to warn Tay, but Soy was quiet for some reason. Hello, Tay. My name is Soy. I'm a freshman at your academy. I thought she'd freak out, but she was suddenly politely introducing herself. What? It was so unlike the usual Soy. Nice to meet you. This is... I'm Shinbi. Oh, okay. I'm Tay. Hmm. Um, how do you know her? Oh, we've already heard. The principal told her to look out for you guys. I'm in her class and we're best friends. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Soy relaxed her mouth. Out of all of the time I knew Soy, I never saw her this happy. I have never seen Soy be this happy ever since I knew her. Uh, they just kind of said the same thing twice. And the way she talks or moves was so gentle and careful, I thought I was looking at a stranger. All right, nice to meet you too. Shinbi, you too. But those clothes. What, those are his work clothes, clearly. I point at Tay's clothes. Yeah, I have to wear these when I work. It looks so good on you. Thanks. Since when have you worked here, Tay? Oh, that's... At that moment, we heard someone in the kitchen calling Tay. He seemed to be busy. Oh no, I have to go to work. I hope you guys have a good time here. FYI, today's special is candied lemon tea. We just finished marinating the lemons today. Tay waved and disappeared into the kitchen. OMG! Even a uniform looks like a luxurious suit on Tay. As soon as Tay disappeared, Soy started to make a fuss. Uh, miss, is it okay if I show you to your seats? We were standing right in front of the entrance when the waiter behind us called. I felt bad for interrupting their business and turned around. His dark blue hair and his light brown eyes. That is not dark blue, that is clearly green! Is this a bad translation or is the screen color off? I was instantly drawn to him without realizing. He's so cute! Is he a boy? He seems to be a waiter looking at that uniform. I definitely see he's a hot guy. I suddenly remembered Yan Ho at the house. I was surprised to find an actual person who resembled Yan Ho. He does, actually. Those pretty eyes looked like a doll's. Welcome, I'm Zion, your waiter for today. Excuse me, but how many are with you? We'll come! We'll come again tomorrow! Excuse me? We will come here every-
every day. No, until the day the world ends. I will come to Banjul. Banjul is such a warm and nice place. The name's fantastic, too. She must have secretly oiled her stiff tongue. Soy shouted Banjul with the exact pronunciation. Um, uh, miss. Seeing Soy's eyes, I could tell she's already freaking out. It's Soy's strength and weakness to fiercely pursue something she likes. From tomorrow, she'll say she'll eat cakes and tea for her meals until she dies. It's three. Show us our seats, please. Shinbi opened her mouth to settle the situation. Oh, alright, follow me. The waiter showed us to a table with comfy armchairs. All the decorations looked incredibly old. After looking at all the decorations, I saw the whole view of the cafe. The cafe was decorated with antique furnitures and felt elegant but welcoming. The furniture was old, like those grandfather left me. The spoons on the wall and harmony of the furniture felt odd but strangely comforting. And among all, what really caught my eye was a harp. I looked around to find small and big harps placed here and there. It was amazing to see such expensive instruments in a cafe. Here is the menu. I turned my eyes to the menu after hearing the waiter's voice. Please, call me when you've decided what to order. When the waiter was about to turn around, Soy abruptly grabbed his clothes. What's the best thing on the menu? She was stalling to spend as much time as she could with a hot boy. Okay, he's not really hot to me. He's cute, but not hot. Yes. Oh, everything's good. We check the freshness of our ingredients every day, so everything is top quality. You are the fresh new face of my life. I'll have this drink. Shinbi ordered, cutting soy off at the right time. I went to order the drink Tay recommended to us. I'll have a candied lemon tea. And you miss? I'll swallow anything you recommend to me. Oh, God. Wrong choice of words, soy. Although, I think she kind of meant it because she's blushing. <laughs> then, oh, how about this? It's called ZZZ. If you drink this, you'll sleep well. <laughs> I laughed at his perceptive recommendation. I guess he had quite a personality, unlike his innocent face. I'll have five of those. What? Five? Blinded by the hot boy in front of her, <laughs> Soy started to be irrational. I have no idea whether she'll be able to drink all five cups. Zion asked her again, but Soy was determined. Zion eventually left the table, all confused. This cafe seems pretty nice. Did the manager organize everything? Isn't it? I thought my heart was going to stop just then. I have no idea who the manager is, but he has quite an eye for cute boys. Soy seemed to not realize that Shinbi was talking about the decorations. It was then... A man approached the table beside us. Seeing his clothes, he seemed to work here. Miss, can I excuse you for a moment? I hear a deep voice ringing. I looked up to find a man almost as tall as Yuri. Oh my god! My type again! Oh, hello, but you are... I'm Hobbin, the manager of this cafe. I apologize for interrupting when you've been resting. No, it's fine. But has something happened? Oh, I noticed something odd when I was registering your order. I think our waiter has made a mistake. A mistake? There must have been a misunderstanding. It's written here that she ordered five cups of ZZZ. Oh, it's right. That waiter, and now the manager. This cafe is full of hot guys. Now that I think about it, Tay works here, too. The cafe is going to be called the Hot Guys Cafe pretty soon. Excuse me? Oh, it's nothing. There's no mistake with our orders, so you don't have to worry. Right, Soy? Yes, I'm drinking as much as I want today. I think she's confused tea with alcohol. She seems to have completely forgotten that you get sleepy if you drink that. Oh, alright. I apologize. I hope I wasn't. The manager was about to head off when the waiter for our table came running towards us. <laughs> it just looked funny they swept in so fast. Uh, Mr. Hobbin, why are you here? 
I told you I didn't make a mistake this time. The waiter pulled the manager's arm and pouted. He was so cute that I laughed without knowing. You have a history. I can't trust you. I had to eat leftover cake for dinner that day because of you. <laughs> I told you to take it off my paycheck, but you said it was fine. And how many times have you reminded me of that? Such a cheap shot. Anyways, hurry. The kitchen's going crazy looking for you. Alright. I get it, so let go. Then, missus. Hope you have a good time. Zion and the manager nodded and headed to the kitchen. Aww, I can totally tell the manager likes cute boys. The manager here seems to only hire cute guys. I want to live in this cafe for the rest of my life. Oh, and next time, why don't we bring the other members of the Hot Five? Soy poked me in the rib and said, Ouch, why are you poking me? You're close with the Hot Five. Next time, ask them to come with us. Sh should I? I think of Lance, Yan Ho, and Red at Soy's words. Since Yuri's a teacher, I should ignore him. First, Lance will definitely reject me. Won't he say it's tiresome and refuse? Well, you won't know unless you try. And Yan Ho will probably come with us. Thank you for waiting. Here are your drinks. Five teacups filled up Soy's side of the table. I reached out to the lemon tea Tay recommended. After a sip, I felt the sweet lemon scent spread in my mouth. Wow, this tastes amazing! I exclaimed without knowing. I understood why Tay recommended this drink. I've never tasted a lemon tea this tart, sweet, and flavorful. They must have added something since it was red. I saw a carefully cut lemon slice in the cup. I'm glad you like it. Have a good time. Soy started sipping the tea. I'm worried she won't be able to finish until it gets dark. I should ask whether we can get this to go. Shinbi seemed to like the drink she ordered. Yeah, I should ask for one to go too. I peered around to see what else they sold. I saw just in time a couple eating a piece of cake right beside us. There was a cute looking piece of carrot cake on the table. So cute! I was reminded of the family back home at seeing the carrot on top of the cake. I suddenly imagined Yan Ho's happy face after getting a sweet piece of cake. And I also imagined Red, who will look determined to seize the cake. <laughs> then a few seconds later, Lance will come in frowning. And nag him not to spill crumbs. I smiled at imagining all the things that could happen with just a piece of cake. Soy and Shinbi gave me quizzical looks at seeing me like that. I ignored their looks and sipped my lemon tea again. This has become quite a daily life now. We chatted for about an hour like that in the cafe. Soon after taking several selfies, Soy started to doze off, and Soy drank with a satisfied look. Look at the sunset already. It was getting pretty late. Huh, such a nice cafe, and... <sighs> Soy didn't finish and yawned. The tea must really be effective, making Hyper Soy feel sleepy. They wrapped it up pretty well, too. Shinbi must have liked it a lot, too. Mine, too. I had a banjul to-go cup in my hands. What, am I supposed to be remembering what we had? I don't understand what this is. I'm going to save anyway, just in case. Uh, there is candied lemon tea, I guess I'm going to say, because that's what I ordered. If it gets dark... There should be more people here. I look around the street. This must be the time when all the kids come out to the main street after finishing their club activities. Be careful, I have to go this way. I waved to Soy and Shinbi. Yeah, you too. Soy didn't even say bye and leaned against Shinbi's shoulder half asleep. Good night, Soy. Huh, <sighs> now let's go home. I hope the boys will like what I bought from the cafe. When I looked at the menu while they wrapped my leftovers, I was reminded of my family back home. A piece of cute carrot cake for Yan Ho, a cup of sweet tart lemon tea for Lance. The chocolate cookie reminded me of Red, and the best-selling cup of tea reminded me of Yuri. Like this, I often think of my family. It's like when Grandpa was alive. When he was with me, 
I used to be reminded of him whenever I saw sweet snacks and bought it for him. Oh, come to think of it, Grandpa loved sweet snacks. Did I forget? Hmm. Grandpa, it's not good if you eat too many sweets. Should I get something plainer next time? I really want you to live a long, healthy life. Ah. I stopped walking. I always hoped my grandpa would live a long, long life. But in the end, he left me when I didn't expect it. It flew by so fast. It only takes a second for people to leave you. I know that well. Huh? Those boys can turn back into dolls any moment now. I fiercely shook my head, just thinking about the worst situation. I don't want to think about it. That won't happen. I'm scared. Let's think no more of it. It really scares me. Got you. I felt a hand grabbing my shoulder and heard a familiar voice. Seeing his face, I felt like suddenly crying. The smile that always comforted me permeated into my heart. I knew it was him. Oh, I just finished working. Did you have fun today? Tay caught his breath and looked carefully at my face. Oh, are you okay? Did something happen? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I stopped thinking and smiled at him. What I was thinking until just now is a secret. I especially don't want to tell Tay and the rest of the family. Okay, let's go in together. We have to walk for quite a bit. Okay. I'm glad Tay came. I felt so relieved to see him. I was thankful he appeared just at the right time. Just to keep me out of despair. It's best not to think about someone disappearing from my side for a while. Since I get overwhelmed from worrying about these happy days continuing on, Oh, come to think of it, I bought candied lemon tea. I bought it because lemon reminded me of Lance for some reason. Is Lance in his room? I knocked on Lance's door. Lance, are you in there? Can I come in? I was about to turn around since there was no answer when the door suddenly opened. He was standing there, holding on to the doorknob, looking angry. Oh, you were in there. Can I come in for a sec? Where's Red? That stupid roommate went out with Yanho to buy sweets. Yanho and Red must get along pretty well. Behind Lance, I see Grandpa's room. I haven't been in this room in a long time. I miss Grandpa more now that I see his room. Then I'll come in for just a moment. I stepped into Grandpa's room. <laughs> they got Power Ranger stuff in here. As soon as I entered, I saw a plastic model standing in the corner of the room. I smirked after seeing that. <laughs> it must be Red's. The last time I saw Grandpa's room, it was empty, but now it looked like a place someone actually lives in. What is it? I was deep in my own thoughts when Lance asked. Oh, sorry. Do you mind that I'm in here? Lance might not like this, saying it's an invasion of my privacy. Not really. I do not mind. I look around but didn't find many things that seemed to belong to him. I think a couple textbooks and notebooks are all. I guess there isn't any privacy to invade. Does Lance have nothing he likes? I see traces of red all around the room, but not much of Lance. Oh, right. I came here to give you this. I handed him the drink. What is this? It's lemon tea I bought from the cafe Tay works at. I tried it today and it was really good. Is it bad? Do you not like lemon tea? Regardless of whether I like it or not, I do not understand why you bothered to buy this for me. Just because it reminded me of you, so I bought it. Do you not like lemon tea? If you don't like it, you don't have to. I do not like it or hate it. Like you said, I had no idea if he liked it or didn't like it. What does he want me to do? Do you have any other drink you like? I asked, so I could at least make a note of it from now on. No. What? Really? Lance nodded. A sweet drink or something sour? Do you not know because it hasn't been long since you turned human? I have never thought about it. 
Come to think of it, Lance seems to be indifferent to his own likes and dislikes. Hmm, really? Well then, drink this and think about it. Whether you like it or not. All drinks are the same anyway. That's because you drink without thinking. If you try to think about the different tastes while drinking, they might be different. Is it because he was a doll that he's duller than normal people? Even after listening to what I said, Lance stood still while holding the drink. <sighs> I do not understand why you are insisting, but I will follow your request if you want. Lance reluctantly sipped the drink. <laughs> Fine, if you really want me to drink it, I'll do it. How is it? Do you think it's good? Lance's expression subtly changed. Is it good? Lance didn't say anything. Does he like it? It's tart. And that's what's so good about the drink. Lance didn't say anything after noting it's tart. Hmm, he must not have liked it. <sighs> well, if he didn't like it, then oh well. I'll be off then. What is it called? What? The name of this drink. Lance almost whispered. He seemed to be a bit shy and looked cute. It's called Candied Lemon Tea. I left the room after telling him the name. Candied Lemon Tea. <sighs> I stretched out my arms. Now that I've finished dinner, I should write in my diary. We have a diary now? A lot of things have happened today, so I should think through first. I opened my diary. While wondering what I should write first, I thought of Banjo. I pictured Tay, that waiter Zion, and the manager Hoban all in their uniforms. And the family members I got closer to after giving them gifts from the cafe. After thinking about the boys, I got curious about something. And we'll find out what that something is in the next episode, because we're out of time for today. <laughs> well, we did something with Lance. We don't really know. Well, I'm pretty sure he liked it, though he was rather noncommittal about his reaction. I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.